Back during the fall of South Vietnam in 1975, coming out on the last airlift from the roof of the American Embassy was Dr. Raymond Benson, a surgeon who had worked with overseas crusades. Uh, Benson had been asking, we have sports ambassadors, why can't we have medical ambassadors? Dr. Benson's vision was to call out Christian medical professionals around the world to establish clinics. His hope was to help people both physically and spiritually. Above all else, he insisted, the world needs Jesus. In fact, the physical need was so great that when these clinics opened, multiplied hundreds of people came for medical attention, so many that it was impossible to treat them all. And doctors were so busy, they had few opportunities to tell people about Jesus. By its second decade, medical ambassadors had truly become international. The work had taken hold in places like Tanzania, to India, to the Philippines, and closer to home, Guatemala. But it was still committed to the clinic model, which included those incredibly long lines of needy people. Stan Rowland is considered the father of what has become known around the world as community health evangelism. Evangelism, because seamlessly woven into the teaching, are basic biblical truths. You can be clean on the inside as well as the outside. You have great value because you are wonderfully and beautifully made by God. His Spirit can live in you and make you whole. Community health evangelism around the world is popularly referred to as CHE. Medical Ambassadors International became the organization that incubated the growth of the international CHE movement. In the 30 plus years since MAI's founding, thousands of lessons on multiple topics seamlessly integrating scriptural truths have been created. Pioneer practitioners have field tested the teaching methods in real life settings. They have also carefully, country to country, honed a methodology that is learner-centered, highly participatory, and empowers the adult student. ከዛባላደሞ <laughs> The most important thing that they taught us, it was how to, to become, to, to come together and work together. And the trainings that they were giving us was about uh, the Word of God, mostly the Word of God. And then it came to projects, how we could survive. Today, Medical Ambassadors is experiencing an explosion of growth. So much so that the organization is again at a turning point, thinking there must be a better way. We need to appeal to a broader base of friends who see the genius in this unique approach. We don't need more funds for the home office or for the U.S. field staff. Would that it were that simple. What we need is financial help for the field where resources can't keep up with all the requests for training. Frankly, these needs have outstretched our capacities. And every time we have to say no, we see the face of a child suffering unnecessarily, or of a widow struggling alone to feed her family, or maybe a community in dire need of something as basic as clean water. We're asking if you would consider prayerfully helping us help others help themselves. You surrender everything to God. Sometimes you are challenged. But when you say, God, you know you are the one who put us together, that will be done. Then you just find a solution. You always get a solution. 
unlike before. Jesus came to free us from those things that make us ill in body, mind, and spirit. He healed the sick, was tender toward the poor and the powerless, and spoke against injustice. He gave his very life to redeem us from sin. And one day, he will restore this earth to his original design. Until that time, will you join with us in healing the world Christ's way?